Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. Believe me, I'm so happy you're here today. Crafted by Corey is hosting this DIY mini challenge. There'll also be a playlist below. Oh, check out her channel. My goodness, is she talented. She does hauls. She does all different kinds of DIYs. They're amazing. Please check out her channel. Okay, today I made some tier trade minis. These are so fun. So let's get to our first one. Start out, I used this little wooden crate and just gave it a coat all over of Waverly's chalk paint in ivory. You just wanna cover it all. You don't really need to do the inside of it. And then in between, I wanted you to be able to see that it, it is like books. So I used mineral in between there. You could use any sort of shading color there. Basically, you're just trying to give the illusion that this is a stack of books. So I did that on the front and the back. Then I used my Cricut and I did be humble and kind. Now you could definitely write this if you wanted to and you could use tracing paper. You could also trace it a little bit harder with like a pen and it leaves a little bit of an imprint and go back over it with a Sharpie. Next, I used some ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. I like this ribbon, that black and white I think is just, is fun together. So just give it a couple dabs of glue here to secure it to the crate slash books. And cut that off and glue it down. Next, since we have a bee theme, I wanted to add a little bit of yellow ribbon. So I just did the exact same thing and glued this around right on top of the black ribbon. And then I just want a bow to kind of tie this together. So just make your favorite bow that you think will fit. A, a shoestring bow would be just fine. And I just tacked these down to the crate. Books. <laughs> All right, see how simple this is? And it will be such a nice decor piece. I cut the ends of my ribbon at an angle. Just snipped that. I should have snipped it before I glued it down, but I was thinking I was going to leave them straight across, but they needed a little something. And just a dab of glue. And to finish this off, I used my Artisto markers, and they're just an acrylic paint, and I filled in my B. And that's all there is to it. What do you think? Okay, for this mini, I took a little flower pot from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three. I used more of that Waverly Ivory paint and just gave it a coat from the bottom. Then I took my floral foam, crafty hint, if you cut it while it's in the bag, you don't get bits of that foam all over the place, and then your extras in the bag for your next use. So you can put a little bit of glue in there. I don't think I really needed it because it's a nice snug fit. So I pressed that in there, and then I found this rosemary at Walmart it was like 96 or 97 cents so I thought that was kind of neat I clipped that off and so part of this will be right there and then I'll just cut off little sprigs to fill up the pot this is pretty easy although it's a little bit flimsy 
Um, you might want to add just a little bit of glue to the ends, but I found that they put went in there rather easily. And you can see my book stack kind of off to the side there. I decided to paint this while the book stack was drying and I had the ivory paint out. Here's a little Spanish moss. Now we want to cover up that floral foam. I cut it while it's in the bag again so it isn't quite as messy. I just clip that off the amount I need. And you can usually just kind of tuck those around, but you might have to just trim it a little bit with your scissors. Next, I took some jute twine and just wrapped it around the rim of this little pot twice. So just a dot of glue to hold it. I was debating whether I was going to wrap the whole rim, but I just decided that twice would be very nice. So you might have to tack that down in a couple places because this is a rather smooth surface and it wants to wiggle around. Then just glue it down and are about good to go there. I did decide to add a little bee on there to keep going with our theme. And there it is. Oh, I did two bees. So sweet. Okay, I know you're wondering, what is she doing now? Well, I took my glue gun into this glass dish. They come in a set of two or three from the Dollar Tree. And I put some hot glue in there. And this is my coffee mug warmer that I put it on there to keep the glue warm. And then I added some yellow eyeshadow. Now, I'm probably not going to use yellow, so it wasn't a great loss. So I just keep adding it until... It looks like honey, of course. So just keep mixing that up and adding a little glue until it looks just about right. So I have these little honey daubers or what are they called? Dippers? Yes, honey dippers. That's what we'll call them. So I'm going to add my faux honey around them on my silicone mat. If you don't have a silicone mat, I do think it's a neat investment because your hot glue peels right off and so does your um, paint. You can just rub it right off. I use like a shower scrubby and I just rub that off. I have one just for my silicone mat. So easy. So I put that on there and then I added some of my little honeybees. I actually just added a little bit of the faux honey on the back of it. And now we'll do another one. I mixed up another batch. And this one I'm going to lay on its side. And as you put it on there, I found once you get it looking pretty good, you got most of the honey out. If you just keep twisting it in a circle, kind of like you do with real honey, it makes it look more realistic. And this is sticky. Well, it's glue, but you know, it kind of acts like honey. So it was just kind of fun, but do be careful because it is hot and hot glue burns. So be very careful there. You might even want to put some finger protectors on. So I just held my little wood, um, goodness, I can't talk all of a sudden. I just, my little coffee stirrer is actually what this one is. And I just held it against it as I turned it. And it just gets in all of those little grooves. And, you know, you can manipulate the glue just a little bit better. And I just scrape out every little bit of each batch.
and those little hair things aren't going to be a big deal because one, they're on the silicone mat, I can kind of twist them off a little bit, but I'll also just use my heat gun. Now I did this one the same way, twisting it more and more, but I added more blobs off to the side as if I spilled some honey and added a few more bees to this one. So the one standing straight up has one bee, the other one doesn't have any, and this one has four or five on there. So kind of cute. I think I did five. I think I like odd numbers. So yes, there is bee number five. How cute are these? And here it is, it dries pretty quickly. So as you can see, it has these little bits hanging off that I'm not real fond of. And this one's dry, same thing. So just took my heat gun and as you can see, it just curls right up and makes it look much better in a nice finished, gosh, how much would you pay for these if you bought them? Now, I remembered that my other little silicone pot holder had little like honeycombs on it. So I used some of my leftover and put that on there. And does that not look like a little honeycomb? Kind of fun. So I added a few little bees to that as well. And here we are. I hope you like it. Oh, I just love this theme. Okay, here's another quick item for your tiered tray. I took this scrap wood and they're about three inches wide is what the board was. And I cut them just a little bit taller than that. So I just gave them a quick coat of Waverly chalk paint and ivory and did that on all sides. Then what I decided to do is add this decal from my Cricut. Now I could include the text of Queen Bee for you, but I can't include the bee because this was from Cricut Design Space. So just Google a bee and, and you could definitely do this and use your tracing paper. I will have to do that soon, showing you how to do that with a Sharpie or a paint marker. Next, I wanted to give this one a finished edge, so I took this ribbon I found at Walmart and just went around the edge, making sure that I lined it up with that edge that would face towards the front. I thought this just brought out that black and white, clipped that off, and oh my goodness, it is as simple as that. Here we are. I hope that you're enjoying these minis. Oh my goodness, I love this bee theme. Aren't we all a queen bee? Okay, and now our second block of wood. I took a little sandpaper on there, I had a little blob of paint, and I did be you. Again, I can include this as well, and you could, you know, just take that that I'm including, put that on there and trace it in Sharpie. And, or you could maybe freehand this one. It isn't too hard. But I think we should all be our own selves. You know, we're all different and unique. And that's what makes us special. So be you. So this wood just grips it really easily. So I just rubbed that with my fingers and I decided to add several of these bees. Now again, in my description box below will be all of the supplies I use. And these have little stickers on the back and they stick rather well. So I just peeled them off and stuck them on there. Another quick one for your tear tray. For this one, I took a jumbo plastic egg. The other one's just a regular size, so you can see how much larger it is. And I just took the medium-sized nautical rope from the Dollar Tree 
and wanted that for the bottom of what were this a beehive. One I took a jumbo. So I just plastic put a egg. little bit of glue. The other ones just go a regular all the way size around so there, and much then larger it trim it is. off. And I just took the medium-sized nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and wanted that for the bottom of what will be a beehive. Oh, and now I notice, so I just oh my goodness, a where did the footage of go of me using twine? I use there and then just like size a rope and went all the way around and up to the top and just made a loop to finish it off. I am so sorry that footage disappeared. I oh, used a and plastic now I cap notice, that is oh my actually goodness, just a plastic did the cap footage go a teriyaki of me bottle. using twine. So I that used gave me a flat just like size for this to stand went up. All the way around I am so and sorry up I to the top that, and but just again, made a loop. All I did was to finish it off I am around so in a sorry that footage disappeared. Now to cover part of that cap, I, used I will a plastic use my cap that is actually just a plastic cap to go around one more time. So that gave me a flat surface for this to stand up. I am so sorry I missed that, but again, all I did was glue that this rope will just around. Give in a it circle. a little bit more of a finish. Now look. to cover part of that cap, I will use my last bit of this rope to go around one more time. And if anyone has a trick to cutting this nautical rope, please put it in the comments below because I have the hardest time. This will just cutting give this. it a little I've bit tried more scissors. of a finish. I've look. tried wire cutters i just don't have a way that seems to cut this easily so please share what and you if do anyone has a trick I'd to also cutting this love to hear rope, which is your favorite please put it in the comments below the because this. i have the hardest time cutting this All i've tried right. scissors i've and tried just use wire cutters spatula. i just, just don't have down. a way that seems to now, cut this, this easily. is the inside so if you share what you pack do. of the plastic I also planters. love to hear which is your favorite the water drain at the end of this i was looking for a little door right. hole and for my beehive and i thought the center of this works down and then i now, just this wrapped this a piece of rope if around you get a three pack it. you can see that black rope there the plastic before planters, i tried to kind of twist it in this a circle to help a the water drain times. And it just I was look looking right. for a little so that door hole and now here's for some more my of beehive. Bees. Again, and I thought the I center of this was down below. I got and those then I just Amazon. wrapped a piece of rope my around supply it. Lists are you can see that black rope there before as I well tried as to some of my twist tools it in a that circle I think a couple are handy times. to use. And it just didn't look right. Didn't that turn out cute? So that caught my eye. I just trim off and some now of these hairs. Here's some more of those bees. I definitely burn them off as well. I will link those down below. I got, I got those Walmart. off Amazon. It just has a lot of supply lists are always linked below. And as here's well the as some of my product. tools that I think are handy to use. Didn't that turn out cute? Again, so cute I for just a trim off tray. Some of and these I hairs. will decorate my tree. Definitely tray. burn them off as well. Here's but the final reveal. This twine of I got everything at we saw Walmart. Today. You know, just has a lot of hairs. And here's the finished product. And please give Again, me a thumbs up so cute and like for a tear tray. And I will decorate I my really tear tray. I really would like to, Here's the you know, final help reveal boost my of channel. everything we saw and I'm today. getting close to that thousand members where I could pop up with a community so that I can talk to you all a little more and get more feedback. So join us. And please give me a thumbs up and a like if you enjoyed this. I really would like to, you know, help boost my channel. And I'm getting close to that thousand members where I could pop up with a community so that I can talk to you all a little more and get more feedback. So join us.